Hello everybody, this is going to be part three of my lip balm collection. Um, I did say I was going to do this all in one big video, that's until I realized how many Taste Beauty lip balms I actually own. So, by the time I'm done with all my Taste Beauties, I will see where we are with time, and if it's already going to be a long video, then I will just cut it short and do my lip smackers in either one video, or do my lip smackers and my randoms in one video together. So, I know I seem like a pretty um, indecisive person, and I apologize for my hair in advance, because I can never get it to do what I want it to do. So, anyway, um, this is basically the introduction to my Taste Beauty lip balms. This is the brand that I have the most of, and I used to think that Lip Smackers was my favorite brand, but surprisingly, I get tired of smelling those after a while, even though they're extremely accurate. Like, I could sit here and smell Taste Beauty forever because their packaging is cute. You're about to see that. Their flavors are decent, except for the bad ones that y'all are also about to see. Um, I don't know what I can say. I mean, Taste Beauty really lives up to its name. <laughs> um, I'm sorry for the sniffling and the nose itching. Um, I do have allergies right now, so I apologize. Um, I apologize a lot in life. But anyway, let's just get into this. Me quit rambling. And I hope y'all enjoy the video. So, um, quick forewarning. There are some, child some childish ones in here. I don't care. Um, when you're a collector of things, you tend to collect the childish stuff too. I don't really see it as childish because I still watch Disney. I still remember all the theme songs to all the 90s children's TV shows. And I'm proud of it. So, just wanted to let y'all know. <coughs> um, so the very first one is... One of my favorite My Little Ponies, and it is Rainbow Dash, and the flavor is frosting, and it doesn't really smell like frosting, but it smells pretty good. My next one that I have is Cold Stone Founder's Favorite. All of my Cold Stones are currently in tubes. I haven't gotten the updated, um, I don't know what other formats that they have them in, um, but I'm probably going to get them in multiple, multiple formats. The next one that I have is actually by Lotta Love, which I'm wanting to say is the same company because everyone always puts their Lotta Love and Taste Beauty together. So, it is a mega pancakes and syrup lip balm flavor, I mean, the, the color is brown. That one is pretty good. Taste Beauty is definitely better than Lotta Love, though. Um, then I have Cotton Candy, which, this came in a set. It was one of the very first sets that I got. I have two of these. Let me try to figure out how to turn them around. <coughs> Two of these Ryan's World penguins. They are both surprise lip balms. They smell the exact same. I don't know what flavor they are. Um, but I got that as a set for Christmas. I have a Taste Squad cola bottle. Um, which, that, that one smells okay. It came in a set, um, a Taste Squad set. I am wanting to say that I have two of these as well. They're green apple. Little well, monster, so cute. But anyway, um, I accidentally had gotten two sets. That's why I have doubles of those. Then I have Sweet Tarts Green Apple. I have not gotten the Sweet Tarts collection, though. So I'm wanting to say I only have one of those. Then this next one is so cute, it's a little avocado. Um, it's basically like the Pucker Pops. You just 
take it uh, out of the silicone plastic part. This is what it looks like. I don't think that it smells or tastes like an avocado, but he's so cute though. <laughs> then we have Pez grape flavored. Um, this one is not really a good one. Um, with taste beauty, it's hit or miss. Haha, <laughs> TikTok reference. I also have one of those, but I don't know how to go live on there, so we're just going to film my collections this way. <laughs> um, next we have Jojo Siwa Cotton Candy. Then we have, we have Groot. I think that is Baby Groot in chocolate and peanut butter. We have two different Jolly Rancher watermelons. We have a wider one and then we also have a random regular tube one and the difference between these is unreal. Very literally. Like the tube one doesn't smell like it, but the wider one smells like it and tastes like it. Then we have the Bell Rose. I got that for Christmas. I believe it is in the scent strawberry. Um, I don't know. It's pink. Um, you can't really see the sparkles, which actually really kind of bothers me, because some of these are pretty. Then I have another cute one. It's one of my new obsessions for animals. It's a little baby sloth. Um, he is in the flavor Tutti Frutti. Got him from Walmart around Christmas time. They actually have a whole stock of lip balm options. Then I got an LOL Surprise Taste Beauty Lip Balm that is in the flavor Vanilla Latte. I love these little cup coffee ones. Then we have a Sour Patch Kids Red Berry Lip Balm. I actually got this set for Christmas. And then I'm going to do this out of order here. So, I also got the big Sour Patch Kids Red Berry Lip Balm. Like, look at how big that is. It's huge! Um, so we got big, little. Um, but anyway, there's those two. And then, back, back to going in order now. Um... We also got Jojo Siwa Marshmallow, which actually kind of does smell like marshmallow. We got Believe in Your Elf. Haha, <laughs> believe in yourself. Um, vanilla, which that's my favorite scent. Then we have Resting Grinch Face in the flavor frosting. Again, doesn't really smell like frosting. I guess frosting is a very hard flavor to get into lip balm. Sorry guys, I had to pause the video to take a drink. Um, my allergies are acting up. But anyway, um, I was gonna film all these separately, so I'm not going to show them all. But in the Ryan's World pack, there's a whole bunch of these surprise flavored ones. Um, and they all smell pretty different, so I don't know what the flavors are. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, then we have Fruit Gushers Bursting Berry Lemonade. We have a Twisted Peppermint Lip Balm that looks like a candle. And this one does not smell like peppermint. 
because like I said in the previous video, peppermint is a very hard flavor to get into a lip balm. Then we have two of these mystery swirl Laffy Taffies. I cannot stress this enough. These ones are bad. <coughs> mm. Then we have the Sour Patch Kids Lemon. The Laffy Taffy Cherry. And then we also have the... I just knocked over lip balm. We also have the Jolly Rancher Cherry. So we have those two. And then this one is low-key my favorite. I don't know if you guys can read that, but it says, You Are My Sunshine. Anybody that knows me really well, because there are some of my followers that are going to be coming in from my Facebook friends. Yes, I recruit subscribers from there. But, um, this was me and my grandma's song whenever I was little. And she passed away in 2011. So, this is low-key my favorite lip balm. Just because it says this. And it's in the flavor lemonade. Then, we have one of me and my boyfriend's all-time favorites. My boyfriend is a Mountain Dew addict. Very much so. So, we got a big Mountain Dew. Like, look at that. Do you know how hard it is to put on a Mountain Dew? Or, put on a lip balm that's that big? It's very hard. But anyway, this is one of my favorites. And his. So this is another one that came in the very first set that I got. It is a mystery flavor. This is another cup one. It is in the flavor Mint Mocha. And I'm wanting to say the color is white. Yep, white. And this smells literally amazing. Then we have another cute one, and it's a gummy bear. Like, look at the gummy bear. Um, and the flavor is obviously gummy bear. Um, I don't know if I would say that it smells like gummy bears, but it's still a really cute one. So then we have the toasted marshmallow that looks like a candle. And toasted marshmallow to me is almost as good as vanilla. Then we have another one of the very first ones that I got. It is this little cotton candy cup. Isn't the little face so cute? But this is one of my originals. It has been used, but it is sparkly. Just wanted to show y'all that. Then we have a little chocolate sprinkled donut one. We have Pepsi. We have Drama Queen Cherry. Jojo Siwa Cupcake, which, that one actually does smell like cupcakes. Then we have Wild Cherry Pepsi, and I believe I have two of these. We also have Gush and Grape, Fruit Gushers. Then we have one of my least favorite ones in the whole entire, well no, not my least, least favorite one because there are some really bad ones, but this one, I don't know where they were trying to go with it, but that don't smell like no sugar daddy, that don't taste like no sugar daddy. Now I'm talking about the candy because this has to be children appropriate, 
but this is just, yeah. I don't need to say any more about that. Then we have the Mike and Ike Caribbean Punch, which is actually better than the Mike and Ike Paradise Punch that I have. Then we have two of these little, let me get them to where I can turn them without dropping them. We have two of these little mint mojito ones. And if you shake them, like, I don't know if y'all can hear that. Um, if you can't, then you just saw me shaking my arm for no reason. Um, they're supposed to be mint mojito. They're white on the inside. So I have two of those. Then I have crunch, which actually really does smell like a crunch bar. I keep knocking over lip balm. Then we have Paw Patrol Grape. And yes, I know every single character on this show because I have God Kids. My best friend's son used to watch this all the time. Which brings me to my next one. Paw Patrol Lemon. This is my favorite character off of that show from when I watched it with my godson. His name is Rubble. And he is in the scent lemon. And it doesn't actually smell like lemon. But it's rubble. And who doesn't like bulldogs? Then we have Sour Patch Kid Lime. Which I should really start putting the lip balm closer to the screen. So this way y'all can see the flavors. We have Blueberry. Now... Everybody knows that um, they come out with a cereal every year that, well, no, there's three cereals. There's Frankenberry, Count Chocula, and Boo Berry. And I just happen... To have all three in my collection. They came in a cereal pack and I am wanting to say that the best smelling one is probably Count Chocula and then Frankenberry and then Blueberry or Booberry. Then next we have Cold Stone Birthday Cake Remix. We have the Chupa Chups Watermelon. This one is a hit or miss for me sometimes, too. Like, sometimes it smells like watermelon, and sometimes it doesn't. So, it really all depends on my nose. But, there's also a set of these, and I don't have that set yet. Keyword, yet. Then, there, then we have the Cherry um, Paw Patrol. Y'all are probably starting to doubt that I know their names because I just keep saying Paw Patrol. But I can actually prove that I know their names, but I'm not going to. Then we have a Blue Raspberry in Ryan's World, and it's a panda, which is my favorite animal. Then this is another Taste Squad. This came in the set with the cola bottle. And, uh,. Two other ones that I'm going to show you, but this is PB and J. Now this one, this one has to be like my third favorite out of that set. That's not the worst one. Now this one is most of the people in the world's favorite cereal. I cannot stand Cinnamon Toast Crunch because I am not a cinnamon person by a long shot, but this smells just like the cereal. So if you're a Cinnamon Toast Crunch fanatic, you're going to love it. Then we have three different pink popsicles ones. 
But the thing with these is they're all a different flavor. So this one is um, strawberry, I believe. I wish y'all could see the sparkles. Like, they're so pretty. This one has to be my favorite one. Because it's just cute. Um, yeah, sometimes they come out. This one is... I think that one's strawberry, too. But... That's what it looks like. And then... My newest one is this one. And the flavor is watermelon. And it looks like that. So all of them pretty much look alike on the inside. Next up we have Unicorn Sparkles Vanilla Latte. I have a lot of vanilla latte flavored ones. They're all just called something different. This one I am not enthused about, but it's in my collection, and it smells good, it just don't taste good. And it is hot, hot, hot pumpkin spice latte. And I do not like pumpkin spice. I've said this before, but it smells good, and it's in my collection. Next we have Vanilla Ice Cream, Ryan's World, and there's a shark with headphones. I have seen it all. I just can't help but wonder what the heck song is he jamming out to. Then we have Jojo Siwa, Pink Lemonade. Next up we have Lucky Charms, and this one is in a box. This one actually smells better than all of my tube ones that I have, because I have like three or four Lucky Charms ones. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Now I know you can see the sparkles on that, because I can. But that one's a really good one. Then we have Elf on a Shelf. Candy cane, which just smells like mint, doesn't smell like a candy cane. Then we have mini ears, and I believe they are in the scent. Watermelon. The product looks like this. I'm sorry for those of you who don't like to see people open things with their teeth, but sometimes the lip balms are hard to get open. So the next one that we have is this little donut, which that was the most disgusting looking face that you'll ever see me make on here, by the way. It looks like this. It smells kind of sort of like a donut, but it doesn't taste like a donut. Now, next is my all-time favorite one that my boyfriend has ever probably gotten me. Cookie Dough Bites. My other favorite flavor of ice cream is cookie dough. I will sit there and eat raw cookie dough. I will do that. And I know you're not supposed to, but everybody in America does. Same thing with brownie batter. So, the next one is Strawberry Daiquiri. It is another one um, that it's like the mint mojito, but this one shakes too. Sorry for my arms. Trying to lose weight. It's not really happening, but... I'll try to keep my arms from uh, shaking that bad again. Sorry. Um, the next one is another cute one. It's a cactus. 
and it's in the scent Pink Lemonade, and it looks like this. This was a dollar at Walmart around Christmas time. The next one is a pink sprinkled donut. Look at that face. And I got that in a set also. Then the next one, it says, I believe in unicorns. And it's cupcake. Then we have two of these little cup shaped ones with Mickey ears. These were a dollar around Christmas time at Big Lots. The um, green Mickey is hot chocolate. It smells amazing. And then the red Mickey is candy cane swirl. Once again, does not smell like a candy cane. So then the next lip balm is called Slay My Name, Slay My Name. It came out at Christmas, and it is gingerbread scented. <coughs> the next one I am so excited for because I've wanted it for my collection forever, and I can never find it. And me and my boyfriend found it at Big Lots. It is called Cookie Party. It is shaped like a cookie jar. And it smells like cookies. It's amazing. The next one that I have is a Taste the Season Hot Cocoa in those little cups that I love so much. Then the next one is Hot 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 Peppermint Mocha. And I can smell the mocha. I cannot smell the peppermint. Maybe my nose just doesn't like the smell of peppermint. I don't know. Then we have an emoji. It is in the scent Rainbow Sherbet. It does not smell like Rainbow Sherbet that I know of, but this is what it looks like. Found it at Target. I believe it was a dollar. I'm not sure. Then we have another My Little Pony in Bubblegum. We have a unicorn head. I know you're not going to be able to see it, but it's sparkly. In the flavor Fruit Punch. And it smells like Fruit Punch, you guys, but when has Fruit Punch ever been blue? Fruit Punch is supposed to be red. But, anyway. Next we have a juice box. It is supposed to be Strawberry Huey. This is the second to last one that I got in that set. And it smells okay. Now that I've shown you guys that one though, I'm just going to go straight to the one that was the worst in that collection. And it's actually not closed bright right now, but it is pepperoni pizza. This lip balm is not the worst smelling one that I have, but it is definitely one of them. But it did cost my boyfriend a lot of money for this set, so I'm still grateful. Then we have the Elf on the Shelf sugar cookie, and there's Santa and the Elf. It somewhat smells like a sugar cookie. Then we have a llama, another one of my favorite animals. And he is in the scent Cotton Candy. He smells like cotton candy, and he's the right color. Cotton candy is supposed to be blue, not fruit punch. Then we have Mountain Dew, Code Red. We have another Lucky Charms. Like I said, the one that I showed you guys earlier is better than that one. Then we have a Cold Stone R Strawberry Blonde, which is funny enough because that's like my natural hair color. 
then we have a Trolls one. And it actually has hair. Like the actual Troll dolls. And it is in the flavor Raspberry. And it smells and tastes amazing. This one I'm not so excited about even though it's in a cup. We found this one at Party City, I think. And it is the matcha tea one. Um, so matcha, I think, is green tea. Um, it does not smell, or actually, it, it kind of smells, but it doesn't, no, it tastes, it doesn't smell, sorry. Then we have a mega birthday cake, which smells kind of like a birthday cake. Then we have a mega tricks, which... I'm kind of okay with my regular size tricks is actually 100% on point and last but not least in the first part I'm not going to stop the video but I'm going to have to pause it to put all this away to put more out so I can finish this one um, this video is already starting to get long so lip smackers will have to go in its own video I'm going to try to do lip smackers tonight and my randoms, but my boyfriend gets home at 9.30 and I still have dishes to do. So, yeah. Anyway, the last one before I pause for now is pickles. This one is one of the nastiest ones that I have. Don't get me wrong, I love pickles. I am a pickle fanatic, but this this is just not good. So anyway, I'm going to pause the video, put more out, and I will come back in a minute. Alright guys, sorry that took so long. Um, I was able to fit the rest of my lip balms on the table. Um, so let's just continue with the video because it's already going to be a really long one. So first we have It's a Latte Party. This was one of my original ones that I got. Then I have this Snowflake one. It's actually a frozen one. I have no idea. I think it's like raspberry scented. But that's what the product looks like. It's very shimmery. Then we have Magical Cotton Candy. I found those, all the ones that looked like this with the quotes on them at um, Party City too. Then we have this other little donut. And this one smells like watermelon. So, don't know why someone would put watermelon in a donut, but it works. And earlier I said I had two Mystery Swirl Laffy Taffies. I actually have three. And I don't like any of them. Um, I have My Little Pony Strawberry. I have Jojo Siwa Bubblegum. I have Mountain Dew Baja Blast, which is one of my favorite Mountain Dews. I have Pixie Stick Strawberry and Thor in the flavor Lemon. I'm going to just start doing these by the handful. Um, so next we have Marshmallow, My Little Pony, another uh, ice cream shark, <laughs> then we have the Hulk in Green Apple, we have Mug Cream Soda, then for the next four, we have My Little Pony 
birthday cake. Um, mint. Rainbow Nerds. That's actually better than the Mystery Swirl Laffy Taffy. Bubble Yum. Then we have a big Jolly Rancher Cherry one. And this one, that one's actually pretty good. Then we have another um, Frozen Snowflake. I think this one was supposed to be Elsa, and I'm wanting to say that the flavor's supposed to be Winterberry, but that's what it looks like. Then for the next four, we have Mountain Dew Live Wire, Mountain Dew White Out. Another Blue Raspberry Panda. Tropical Blast Fruit Gushers in the tube. I'm wanting to get the one that's in the little squeezy one, but I haven't gotten that yet. Next we have JoJo's Juice Berry Cola. Then we have Jolly Rancher Blue Raspberry. Strawberry Rocket, Sour Patch Kids Blue Raspberry, I'm sitting here knocking down lip balm again, okay so next we have Pez Strawberry, Another Rainbow Nerds, Cocoa Puffs, Birthday Cake, Captain America in Blue Raspberry, a wide version of Sour Patch Kids Orange, Cupcake, My Little Pony Blueberry. Then we have Ariel Seashell, which is in the scent Cotton Candy, I think. I'm not sure. That's what it looks like. And then for the next bunch, see I'm doing like this many at a time. For the next bunch, we have Butterfinger, Mountain Dew, Nerds Watermelon, Fruit Gushers Rockin' Blue Raspberry, Mug Root Beer, uh, Cold Stone Apple Pie a la Cold Stone. Paw Patrol Orange. Then we have Dreamer. Grape flavored lip gloss. Mountain Dew. For the next bunch, we have Jojo Siwa Cookies, Time to Spruce Things Up Sugar Cookie, Gummy Bears, and if y'all can see, there's little gummy bears, Cold Stone in Cookie Minster, Cold Stone in Cheesecake Fantasy, Skinny version of Mountain Dew Live Wire. You Slay Me, Red Velvet.
Then we have a kitty. And it's in the flavor mixed berry. And I've never seen a mixed berry one look like that. But it's pretty good. Then we have a, another popsicle looking pucker pop looking one. And it's Sky from Paw Patrol. And I'm wanting to say she is strawberry scented. Product looks like that. Then we have Elf on a Shelf Hot Cocoa. That one is actually the best one out of the whole Elf on the Shelf set that I got because it smells extremely accurate. Then we have Fruit Gushers Passion Berry Punch. Now this next one is my least favorite lip balm of every single one that I have out of all 700 and something. But every single lip balm collector has to have this flavor. If you don't have it, you're not considered one. It's bacon. Smelled it already. Tried it already. It's very disgusting. Don't get me wrong, I love bacon. Like the food, bacon, but you shouldn't put it in a lip balm. That is just like my opinion about that. Um, then we have your sleigh in it, grape, Mike and Ike, Paradise Punch, over it, passion fruit, Tootsie Roll. That one's actually pretty good. Sky Strawberry. Iron Man. Fruit Punch. There's Iron Man for those of you that wanted to see Iron Man. Then I have... I'm wanting to say I only have one of these. Uh, but that's Surprise Lip Balm Ryan's World too. Wild Cherry Pepsi. Black Panther Grape Flavored Then we have Good Vibes Apple Flavored The Regular Size Tricks which is 100% on point with its flavor unlike the Mega then we have Jojo Siwa Snow Cone. Again, this next flavor is not one that most people would consider good, but it came in the set. And I have two. Ryan's World Pizza. For the next ones, we have All the Jingle Ladies, All the Jingle Ladies. Mixed Berry. We have Honey Nut Cheerios. We have Fun Dip Raz Apple Magic. We have Slay Queen Slay in Cherry. Cookie Crisp. Cereal Milk. Another Pepsi, Spider-Man in the scent Cherry, Fruit Gushers in Triple Berry Shock, Fluffy Stuff Cotton Candy, we're getting down to the last of them now. Green Apple, Paw Patrol, Lucky Charms, again, Pink Lemonade, My Little Pony, Blow Pop Cherry, 
Twizzlers. I actually think I have two or three of these. Fun Dip Grape Yumptious Dip. Fruit Gushers Strawberry Splash. Black Widow in Strawberry. Raspberry Cupcake. It's a catacorn. For those of you that don't know what a catacorn is, it's a cat and a unicorn. Um, then we have Berry. And that is Chase. We have another Butterfinger one. One of my favorites. We have two of these Ryan's World Dinosaurs, which are surprise flavored. We have a Green Apple Jolly Rancher. We have another Fun Dip Raz Apple Magic. I believe I have three of those all together. We have Grape. We have Reese's. Then we have two of these little Ryan's World Crocodiles. And those are surprise flavors as well. And then for the last four, we have Pepsi, Cherry Vanilla, Fruit Gushers, Screaming Green Apple, Sour Patch Kids Regular Sized Orange, and JoJo Siwa Birthday Cake. So that is all of my taste beauties that I own. Um... I wanted to be able to do my other two tonight, but currently where I live, it is like 7.43. My boyfriend gets home at 9.30, so there's no way I'm going to be able to form film another video. So, I will film um, my Lip Smacker collection tomorrow. I will film my regular Lip Balm collection tomorrow. I will film my Jack Skellington collection tomorrow. And I might film my keychain collection tomorrow because that should be a short video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you watched the whole thing. I know that most of my videos are pretty long. Um, I'm sorry for the glare, the lighting, the backdrop. Um, um, I'm sorry if the video was really bad quality and you didn't like it at all. Um, I'm new to YouTube. I'm not a professional and I'm not going to try to be. My videos are 100% me. I'm not going to edit them. Um, so if you hear my refrigerator, if you hear my cats, if you hear any noises whatsoever, you're just going to have to hear them. Um, like me coughing and um, I had a little bit of indigestional problems during this video, which is another reason why I'm not filming the other two, because I'm pretty much sitting here growling at myself, <laughs> so I need to take a, um, acid reflux pill, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, comment what your favorite was that I showed everybody, if you have any suggestions of Taste Beauty lip balms that you know of that exists, um, please comment them. I'm always open to hearing suggestions. And with that said, I will see you all tomorrow in my next videos. I love you guys so much. Bye.